So in this Halo Infinite video, I'm going to be showing why the Razorback is beneficial. Starting off here with Capture the Flag and Multiplayer. When you go to grab the flag, you can actually put it on the back of the Razorback, which is extremely beneficial, especially if you're by yourself or something, or you're just in a rush. So, yeah, as you can see, it can just plop right here on the back. And this is something that you can't... Whoops. Actually, got on the back. Anyways, let me pick up the flag here. And this is something that you can't do with the Warthog, as you can see. I'm not able to plop it on the back like I can with the Razorback. However, you can ride in the passenger side with it, of course. But, you know, you're not able to drive at the same time with the flag. So, yeah, if you don't have another player with you to drive you off in the passenger side well you're gonna have to end up running however with the Razorback as you saw you can just plop it on the back by attaching the item to the back of it and then you can just simply drive off with the enemy flag extremely beneficial in this game mode another game mode that the Razorback is beneficial in is stockpile the reason why it's beneficial for this game mode is because you can store the power seeds on the Razorback. It actually has a little compartment for it. As you can see. Check this out. You can store one there. And you can store another in this pocket. So yeah, you got two places where you can just store it by yourself. Also, if you have players with you, they can hop in the back with one. And one can hop in the passenger side as well. So yeah, it's quite a bit of power seeds right there that you can deliver to the base with one load because of the Razorback. Now, let me go ahead and go into training mode real quick and show you something else that's pretty beneficial with the Razorback. Alright, so yeah, uh, now out of the custom games and in training mode. The reason why I wanted to come into training mode is because I can navigate through the weapons easier. To show you this other cool feature the Razorback has, you can actually place a power weapon on the back of the Razorback, as you can see. The energy sword can go on the back of it. The hammer can go on the back of it. The rocket launcher can go on the back of it. Also, the sniper can too. So yeah, you get the point. Power weapons can go on the back of it. You can't place like a BR or something on the back. Also, something else that's pretty beneficial that you can place on the back are these turrets that are around. Yeah, you can actually detach the turret and place it on the back. Oh, dag on it. <laughs> oh. Bam. As we know, it's extremely slow to walk around with that big turret. So, yeah, this is the way you can get to the spot where you want to go faster with this big thing. If you want to try to infiltrate the enemy's base, this is a way that you can do it. Yeah, also something else that you can place on the back of the Razorback. That's actually not the only thing. You can also place plasma coils on the back of it. I know that may sound a little goofy to try to do because, you know, it may backfire on you if they get shot while being on the back of it. But yeah, as you can see where we placed the power seeds at, we can also place the plasma coils there too. But once again, this can potentially backfire on you if they get shot while you're inside of them. It does do quite a bit of damage to the vehicle and area effect damage too as you can see the flames continue to burn there for a little while dealing out even more damage if the vehicle is unoccupied or something and just sitting still but uh yeah also lastly here in this video over the Razorback I'm gonna be showing you how much damage it can take compared to the Warthog I'll go ahead and park the Warthog over here and yeah so Here's how many shots the Razorback can take. One. Two. Is it still drivable? Yeah. Two. Three. Okay, so it takes three to destroy the Razorback. Let's see how many it takes with the Warthog. Consider this posse assembled. One. Oh my! Two. Two. It takes two shots with the Warthog. So, yeah, that's a little damage comparison here. 
as well at the end. Hope you found this enjoyable and it helped out in some kind of way. As always, thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. Until next time, peace.